So this video is about how eating sugar, flour, and omega-6 oils flame us up and lead to chronic medication use. This is the back of the Deflame Diet book, and on the bottom you can see the flamey calories that we have talked about before in previous videos. This is a picture of a caramel apple death pie that my cousin sent us for Christmas. And so I texted him and I said, you know, dude, what is up with this? This is, you know, this, this is brutal. He goes, well, apples are anti-inflammatory. And I couldn't disagree with him. Now, that wasn't what motivated me to eat the, uh, some, some of the pie. Uh, I was going to do it anyway. And I didn't look even what was, in, what was in it. I just knew it was filled with the sugar flour calories. I had at least two pieces. I don't remember if I had a third piece. I might be in denial about that. I'm not sure. But I definitely had two. So we eat a piece of caramel apple death pie or something similar. We get a lot of sugar and flour. And in most refined carbohydrate calorie sources, we also get omega-6 fatty acids. This would be dietary N6 stands for linoleic acid in this case. And linoleic acid is converted in our cells into something called arachidonic acid, which is a precursor to inflammatory chemicals. So we're going to substitute and we'll give a, we'll stop busting on the caramel apple death pie and look at the inflammatory calories at the back of the Deflame diet book. And so when we consume these calories, we get this hyperglycemia or high blood sugar response after eating the, the food rich in sugar and flour. And the, the glucose then rushes into body cells and makes free radicals. The free radicals stimulate a signaling molecule called NF-kappa B that signals the nucleus to produce proteins. And here they are. The green proteins are enzymes. The red proteins are cytokines and other substances that we'll talk about in a few moments. So the next step is that the, the PLA2 and the COX and LOX enzymes, they convert arachidonic acid into PGE2 and LTB4, prostaglandin E2, leukotriene B4. And then what happens is that the cells that make these substances, and down below we have interleukin-1, interleukin-6, tumor necrosis factor, TNF, MMP is matrix metalloproteinase, VEGF, VEGF is vascular endothelial growth factor. Cells that produce these chemicals in response to eating sugar and flour and omega-6 fatty acids release these chemicals to affect neighboring cells. When this is done long enough, one of the outcomes can be the experience of pain. And this is usually a protracted process, so no one knows that, that donuts are going to and cupcakes and white bread and chips and fries and cookies and the like. No one has a direct correlation between eating those calories and the experience of pain. It can take 5, 10, 15, 20 years before this relationship becomes established and we do not have a good cause-effect connection in our minds. Nonetheless, we end up taking medications. Corticosteroids uh, are used to inhibit PLA2, so prednisone would be an example of that. Uh, COX inhibitors, so cyclooxygenases of the enzyme, uh, COX inhibitors are most famously non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, aspirin, ibuprofen. Uh, old drug would be indomethacin, indocin, a newer one, well not so new, but naproxen is uh, over the counter as Aleve. LOX is not, the, is not inhibited by Singular. It's the leukotrienes that are actually inhibited, but same, same, same general idea. Singular is most commonly used for asthma and allergies. So think about all the people suffering with asthma and allergies that developed over time. They're taking Singular, and they don't know that sugar, flour, and refined oils create the chemistry that creates a component of the chemistry of asthma and allergies. Interestingly, Singular has also been used to treat women with menstrual pain because certain women with menstrual pain produce more 
lox mediator the lox mediator leukotriene B4 rather than the Cox mediator PGE2. And then we have medications for IL-1, 6, and TNF, mostly used for autoimmune diseases, Kineret for IL-1, act AMRA for IL-6, very uncommonly used. But the point that I'm trying to get across here is that when we eat sugar, flour, and refined oils, we produce chemicals that, when produced in excess, lead to aches, pains, or chronic diseases. And there are drugs that are designed to inhibit the chemistry created by these pro-inflammatory foods. TNF is probably the most famous in terms of television commercials. Enbril, Remicade, Humira inhibit TNF. And Enbril is the most famous, at least if you're a golfer, a golf fan. Phil Mickelson does commercials or did commercials for Enbril. He developed psoriatic arthritis. And so Enbril doesn't treat psoriatic arthritis. Enbril inhibits TNF. Enbril has, can be used for rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune conditions. So these medications are used to block the chemistry created by a bad diet. These drugs do not treat named diseases. These named diseases have a pro-inflammatory chemistry associated with them. Submicrobial doxycycline is used to uh, treat periodontal disease. It's at a low, a, a low enough dose where it does not have antibiotic functions, but what it does is inhibits enzymes that degrade bone and related connective tissue in the dental anatomy. VEGF is a not too well-known chemical, at least in general circles, but these are the medications. So Lucentis, if you live on sugar, flour, refined oils, and over time you're unlucky and this affects your eye, you might end up with macular degeneration requiring Lucentis to be injected into your eye, right into your eye, right into the right into the middle of your eye, and the lucentis then travels back to the retina and works on the chemistry that is macular degeneration. A vastin is used to treat cancer. So again, you can see that living on refined sugars and flours and omega-6 fatty acid-rich oils like corn, safflower, sunflower, and peanut, over time, if we're unlucky, we will end up with aches and pains and chronic diseases that require medication specifically designed to deal with chemistry created by eating these calorie sources. So you know what my suggestion is. No matter who you are, it's the right move is to get deflamed. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Deflame YouTube channel below. Check us out at deflame.com and follow uh, me on Facebook at Deflame Nutrition and on Twitter at DeflameDoc.